This is a match made in golf. Daisy and Jake met when he was a top amateur golfer and she played for her Southern Cape provincial team. Ten years later, they were about to marry. How did you pop the question? I actually took her down to a, to a private beach in uh, Nisna. It's called Nutsi Castle. I took her down, explained to her that we're going to celebrate our 8th anniversary and uh, I went down on, onto one knee and as I actually took the box out of my pocket, I opened the box and the ring fell out into the sand. No. So <laughs> I had to quickly get the, pick the ring up, blow the sand out, luckily she said yes. And guys, what was your reaction to the engagement? I was incredibly excited. I met Jake on the golf course um, when I was about 22 years old and he was 18 at the time. And after the round of golf, I went back to my sister and I said to her, I've met the most amazing guy for you to meet. Four years later, we ended up playing in a golf tournament together and she met Jake. That was the start of the relationship. We met Daisy at her family home in PE to view the dress worn by her grandmother, Diana Dakin. Made of Duchess satin by nuns at Cathcart Convent, it was then worn by Daisy's mom, Jenny Fencham, on her big day. Now it was her daughter's turn. You look absolutely exquisite. Is this the wedding you've always dreamed of? It really is. I've grown up in this beautiful home. The setting is perfect. And since a little girl, I used to make my mom take this dress that I'm wearing um, out of the cupboard. I think since I was four or five, I tried it on. And today my dreams come true and I'm getting married in my mom's dress, which was my grand's. How does it feel to hand over your wedding dress to your daughter? Very, very special because my mum gave me the dress and three months after my wedding she passed away. So it was something that Daisy always knew and understood and we spoke about. And it has been a very special moment for us. You're a golfer, Jake's a golfer. Is that what brought the two of you together? I spotted this handsome hunk on the golf course while he was playing against my brother. I think it was the eyes that got me. Uh, the first conversation I had with him, he just felt like he was looking straight through me and definitely golf, it's a common interest between the two of us. It's really lovely, we go away, we're very active and we don't spend time in shopping malls, we're rather on the fairways. That's how we spend our time together. The couple were to be married in St. Cuthbert's Church where Daisy's parents were wed. As well as pro golfers from the Sunshine Tour, the guest list included cricketing greats. Father of the bride, Russell Fencham, is an ex-Springbok hockey player, so sport runs deep on both sides of the family. Also on hand was Daisy's extended radio family. Sasha, how did you and Daisy meet? Well, I tell you, I was looking for a sports presenter and I know that she was a great sports fanatic and she loved golf especially. So I sat and asked her to read a, a sports report and she said Norwich City instead of Norwich. And I thought, there's a winner. There we go, I've got her. You know, if I can say that in front of her, I know she's going to be amazing. And she's just blossomed, besides being into a wonderful woman, into an incredible broadcaster as well. So I, I couldn't be happier for her. What advice do you have for the newlyweds? advice and I'm not even there but Daisy, Jake, uh, remain who you are as individuals but make sure that you grow together in your life's journey. Just uh, be honest and be true to themselves. I mean they've known each other for so long. Uh, we, in our family we actually feel that they're an old married couple and uh, this is a great, a great match. The couple's choice of the family home for their reception worked perfectly. How did you add magic to the garden? There was a lot of magic here. Three generations have lived in this house with this beautiful garden. Jenny wanted us to bring the lovely vintage element of the antique bicycle and it's just been a magical place for them to grow up in and to have your wedding at your family home is quite remarkable. Held under a tent over the tennis court, the function had an elegant cream, white and champagne theme rich in 3,000 flowers. How did you make a dream wedding come true? So most important for the family was that they wanted to bring that vintage look through without going over the top. So they were involved in the crystal elements and bringing in plenty of flowers and silver bowls into the whole equation. Um, the ivy was specifically picked out by the family to add to the tent environment. That evening, the bride disappeared for a while and just as guests began asking after her, the secret is out. The second dress has been revealed. Daisy, you look amazing. Dennis, tell us about the dress. 
We did the sort of a party dress, flowy, relaxed feel to complement the evening's fun that's lying ahead now. So we try to get a very simple cut dress, but use a, a, a bit of a vintage feel. So we use different laces from Brussels and Madeira. We've got the low back, similar to the, the dress that we had for, uh, that we remodeled for, for our granny's dress. And why did you choose a second dress? I just thought for the party side of things, the other dress is very heavy. It's not ideal to hit the dance floor. <laughs> so I just think this is perfect to enjoy the rest of the night. And I do really feel like a princess in it. The new Mr. and Mrs. Redmond looked as if Jake had just won the US Masters or the British Open. Daisy already travels to as many of his tournaments as she can, but they're hoping to travel together more often. As a fine call for herself, Jake's wife would make a first-class professional caddy, and they'd be quite a team. But after a decade together, no one's rushing any decisions. Any honeymoon plans? Funny enough, I was playing a golf tournament and they had a hole-in-one prize on normally the toughest par three. I happened to, to hit it in the hole from 221 meters with a four iron. That won us a trip to, to Italy. I'm so excited. I've never been to Italy. It is a dream of mine to go to Italy, especially Tuscany. So I'm really looking forward to it. This relationship has been the best round of their lives. Long may it continue.